In this video, I reviewed the inverse square law. The inverse square law has practical applications in radiology, specifically interventional radiology and fluoroscopy. For example, when we have an x-ray source defined in this diagram by S, the x-rays will spread out in the form of a sphere. That's why we use the sphere area as part of our equation for calculating the intensity. Intensity, in this case, will represent the radiation exposure at that level. Let's start by an example of having an interventional radiologist placed at location R, and then S is the source of, or the X-ray generator. At this level, our radiation in area A will be given by the formula you see here on top. However, if we increase the distance by a factor of two, in this case, it will represent the radius of a biggest, bigger sphere that's not illustrated here. Our intensity will decrease by a factor of four because of the radius being squared in the formula. So you can already see the pattern. We increase our distance by a factor of two. However, our radiation decreased by a factor of four. The same thing applies if we uh, increase our distance by a factor of three, our radiation will change by a factor of nine, specifically it will decrease. And I should also mention that the inverse square law applies to many other things in science and even um, in other aspects of radiology.